Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Windows 11 Manager. So this is another one of those tweaking customization apps, you know, that does pretty much everything all in one place. Uh, they have a Windows 10 version as well. So if you go to their website, you can kind of see both here, what they do and get the pricing. So it looks like about 30 bucks. Um, and looks like maybe get a two-year subscription, maybe for updates. I think it's the 30 bucks covers and you, you own it. I don't think you have to renew type of thing, but I'm not positive because I'm just using the trial. But anyway, so when you go to the main screen here, you have your information page where you can do a system restore, find out information about your computer, which pretty much just opens up the uh, system information tool. So this is like a, a quick way to get to it. Uh, you got the repair center, which has all kinds of repair features. You can open event viewer. So just tons of stuff here. Hardware monitor, one click cleaner if you want to do like a cleanup. Optimization wizard. So obviously I'm not going to go through every little thing here. Just want to show you each screen and kind of tell you what each uh, section does here. Then you have the optimizer section. So if you want to do some uh, system speed tweaks, you could do that. Boot configuration. Opens up the boot configuration screen there. Service manager. Startup manager. So you want to see what's starting with your computer. And then if you want to uh, disable stuff, obviously you could do that from here too. Task schedule manager. See what's going on with your scheduled tasks. Then you have the cleaner section. So you get a disk analyzer. See what's taking up your disk space. So you can analyze the whole C drive, or you could pick a folder. So let's just say documents, just for fun here. So PDF files, Captura files, regular files. It shows you right there. And of course, like I said, you could do the whole hard drive itself. Windows apps uninstaller, so if you want to get rid of some of those built-in Windows apps. Smart uninstaller, another way to uninstall apps. Uh, Shortcut cleaner for the desktop, junk file cleaner. You get to do a scan here. Then you kind of see what it's found here, and then you could delete, you know, all or some of the files if you want to clean it up. Registry cleaner, duplicate file finder, that's kind of cool. So if you have, want to find duplicate files on your system that you don't need, uh, registry cleaner, and you got your customization section, custom system. If you want to uh, customize your system in general, your explorer options, start menu, start menu manager. Desktop customization, taskbar customization, file explorer tweaker. So you have some choices here. Navigation pane manager, this PC manager drag file action, context menu. So you want to adjust your uh, context menu items. Open with list, customize that. Add a menu if you want. Jump list. So if you want to create some uh, jump list, you could do that. Customize the look of the system, visualization, uh, settings, dark theme, uh, change the fonts, system icons, folder colors, theme changers, lock screen extractor. If you want to get the uh, lock screen images that Windows uses. Shortcut creator, hotkey manager, and the security section. Uh, so if you want to improve your security, you could come turn some of these things on. UAC options, sign-in options, other security settings, settings security. 
So you have some settings, settings, control panel uh, options here. Disable access control panel if you want to do that. You can hide items from the control panel. Delete items, add items. Uh, file and folder security options. Uh, you could do some encryption, file shredding, move system folders, privacy protector. If you want to eliminate some tracking, uh, IE history, edge history, Chrome history, executed programs. Security lock, you're going to lock some files or folders. At the app locker, lock system, Windows features. You need to enable any of those. Uh, device manager, device security, restrict access to volumes, file and delete. Then you have the network section here. Optimize and tweak your internet connection. Share manager for shared files. URL manager. You want to manage your uh, favorites. Got your host file editor here. URL blocker if you want to block websites. IP switcher. You want to switch your network settings quickly. You know, change your IP address or gateway, DNS servers. Wi Fi manager. I don't know, this one's not on Wi Fi, but you can manage your wireless networks. You got your network tools. Who is lookup, DNS lookup, IP scanner, port scanner. That's kind of cool. You got a network monitor. So this takes you know some time to load and you could switch between your network card if you have more than one. All right, then you have your miscellaneous utilities. Uh, if you want to create your own tasks and triggers to run those tasks, you have some Windows utilities here that are built into Windows. So you know a lot of these you're probably going to recognize. It's kind of like an all-in-one place to see them. Then you got some common utilities, other utilities, command line utilities, you got Windows apps. Send it to the desktop if you want. Got your known folders, common folders, or your control panel items, which will actually open a control panel. You could open your Windows settings from here and then your security settings. Now the file splitter is kind of cool. So if you wanted, to, if you have a large file you needed to maybe email or something, uh, you could use this to split a file into smaller files, send them all off, and then the person on the other end can merge them together. And you could even add it to your context menu. Get your super copy. So if you want to copy, you know, file from one folder to another. And mirror this directory tree and you include subdirectories and so on. You got your options. And then you got your registry tools. So as you can see, you know, this program does all kinds of stuff, you know, for 29 bucks. It looks like a pretty good deal here. So if you're the type who likes to, you know, play with your settings or customize Windows, then you might want to check it out. So they have the free trial, which is 20 or 30 days, I believe. I think it's 20 days. And then after that, of course, you have to buy it if you want to continue using it. So I'll put a link in the description where you can download it and then you could check it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.